All right, so here we're going to look at one more example related to the quotient rule. So um, here we've got the function f of x equals x squared minus x plus 1 over 3x plus 2. We want to find the equation of the tangent line at the point 0 comma 1 half. So using point slope formula, y minus y1 um, equals the slope times x minus x sub 1. Um, we've used this a few times now to find equations of tangent lines. Well, the y-coordinate is just going to be 1 half. The x-coordinate is 0. That's given to us. Again, the slope is what we have to figure out. But the slope comes from the derivative. And in this case, we'll have to plug 0 into the derivative to get the slope of our tangent line. Well, to take the derivative of this function, we can just use the quotient rule. So it says you get whatever's in the, the uh, denominator, 3x plus 2 in this case. We'll multiply that by um, the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of x to the second power, the 2 would come out front, and then we would take 1 away from the exponent. The derivative of negative 1x will just be negative 1. And then um, the derivative of the constant is just 0, so that'll be kind of the first part of the product rule, excuse me, the quotient rule. Um, and then we'll put a minus sign in between, so at the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the stuff in the top. So x squared minus x plus 1. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of 3x is just 3. Um, the constant, again, just turns into a 0 when we take the derivative. And that'll give us the, uh, the numerator of our quotient rule. And then it says we take whatever is downstairs, 3x plus 2, and we square it. All right, so again, um, in one of the quotient rule problems, I kind of simplified all this. But to me, all we're trying to do is plug in x equals 0. So I don't know. To, maybe you could simplify it. But um, in terms of getting the slope of the tangent line, we certainly don't need to do that here. So notice if we plug in x equals 0, we'll get 3 times 0, or 0. Then we'll just be left with 2. If we plug in 0 for the x in our second uh, factor, We'll get 2 times 0 minus 1, or just we'll be left with the negative 1. Um, and the second part, let's see if we plug in 0, so there's our minus in between. We'll just be left with 0 minus 0 plus 1, which is 1. And then we'll multiply that by 3. And then in the denominator, well, 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 squared. So we've got 2 squared left over. Well, let's see, this is going to be negative 2 minus 3, which uh, looks like negative 5 to me. And then 2 squared is 4. So now we've got our slope of our, our tangent line. So it says the slope of the line, um, or excuse me, the equation of the line, we can just write that as y minus 1 half equals, okay, we now know the slope by using the derivative. So we've got negative 5 over 4. And x minus 0, we can just write that as x. And that's now the equation of our tangent line. Of course, you can also add the 1 half over. You could make it y equals uh, negative, negative 5 over 4x plus 1 half. And again, now we've got the equation of our line either way. So um, again, Finding slopes of lines, what do you got to do? You got to take the derivative and basically just plug the point into the formula. Um, so again, in this case, to take the derivative, well, we just had to use the quotient rule.